Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Sharon. This is a part 3 video series of MS Excel 2016. In this video, I will show you about the editing section. And this editing section lies under Home tab. Suppose, usually when we type any here in D3 cell, I want to enter 10 numbers. Usually we will do like this, 1, 2 and highlight the 1 and 2 and grab up to how many numbers we require we just grab up to there suppose if I required large number of series 500 or 1000 number sequence it's very hard to drag so the easiest method is B2 cell type 1 now I required in B column the numbers are required up to 500 for that easiest method is go to editing click fill series the step value is 1 and the stop value the destination number is 500 I require and I need the column here not row so series in columns when I click OK see it printed up to 500 the same way you can do in the row wise also go to fill click series and the destination value I require 500 I need in rows now by default it's selected in rows okay see here to 500 we can get any kind of sequences for example if I type here 3 3 times table I need 3 times table up to 10 so go to fill series the step value is 3 I need up to 30 I need the series in a row so click OK see the 3 times table 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 3 9 3 times 4 12 like that in any series we can achieve with the fill option but the next example suppose the same sequence I need to copy these all numbers in 6 for that highlight the 6th column from where to require up to from 3 to 30 highlight up to 30 I need the same sequence fill in the bottom cell in row 6 go to fill click down see now the next example in the fill category we'll check the right so now I want 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 table fill in the right section so copy here up to 12 I need th these 7 to 12 numbers I need to copy in these cells go to fill click right see printed here if I want to left go to fill click left suppose I want to print the 30 value fill up the next example sigma auto sum suppose I want to add these three cells and the result I want to display in M7 I'm not highlighting these cells I just want the output go to sigma auto sum click on it see here the formula automatically select the cells it's not chosen the 12th one because here the M3 cell is totally empty that's the reason it's chosen up to the fillet cells only when I click enter C90 here the same way here 27 go here click sum enter suppose you want to add the 10 24 24 you need to highlight auto sum see if any cells are missing in a column you need to highlight manually you can check the count you can check the average you can check the count numbers it's 2 1 and 2 between 10 so I want to find the maximum numbers between this column so go to here click max you see 58 is the maximum number I want to check the minimum go here click minimum 
it's 10 is the minimum number and more functions we will discuss in my upcoming videos now the next example is how to sort a table or values in a cell here if you notice here you'll find some small table which contains some student number student name max science computer social english and total i want this table from small to largest according to the student number so i'll just hide this all sort and filter click smallest to largest click on it when i click see here the whole table is sorted by small to largest according to the student number if you want to only particular column only go to sort click largest to smallest in this example i'm taking largest to smallest here i'm choosing only sc column only max column only not the entire columns only the max column I have chosen so continue with the current selection click on it sort see now the next example we can sort suppose i have a i'm giving this cells different colors now i want to sort this according to the cell colors go to the sort custom sort click on it continue with the current selection sort now here in the column we have chosen the value sort on cell color click on it order i want to use the green color must be top i want the green color on the top so click on green color on top if you want green color on the bottom you can choose on bottom okay see here now the next example is filters if you want to filter any table in excel sheets you need, need you need to highlight the headers go to sort and filter you can choose filter here here also or in data you can choose filter also this time i'm choosing here filter when i choose filter option automatically it assigns some drop down arrow mark when i click on it see here the values in this column is available here in this column student number contains numbers so here you got number number filters if you choose a text student name here see the text filters okay i want to display only the student names mahesh and john so what i have to do go to the student name you can choose here also but when you have a thousands of records it's very hard to filter it's easy to take the filters contains mahesh you can choose here also mahesh or choose or contents and i want john okay see here if you notice the header name student name student student number student names max like that the student name is filtered the column filter the icon has changed see here the student number is different and student name is different if you want to remove the filters clear the filters name that's it and the next one is i want to display only the student number 2005 for that go here number filters equals 2005 okay see here student number 5 is selected if you want to clear you can clear the filter in the total column i'm filtering the result total value is greater than 280 display those records only greater than 280 records only go to total number of filters greater than is greater than 280 click okay 
see here. It's just an introduction of the filters. In my coming up videos, I will detailly explain about the filters. That's it for in this video. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel.